So before starting this project, we need to make sure we have our data downloaded. Clicking on the link in the description will take you to this page here. You can then go on code and download zip. So if you open this up, we then want to copy weather data M into our local disk. So here I've created a new folder called project data. We'll put it in here. I already have it saved, but you guys can just simply paste it. So now we're going to create a new Jupyter notebook. If you guys aren't sure how to do this, I would recommend looking at my previous Python episode. I'm going to retitle it to multiple linear regression. So the first thing we need to do is to import our modules. The most important ones are pandas. And this is for importing our data and for certain data manipulations. Also, we're going to be importing the matplot library and this is used for plotting our data and lastly numpy as mp which is used for linear algebra operations the first thing we need to do is to set a variable for our data which we've saved and we'll call it weather data m then we're going to call a function from the pandas library to read our data into this variable to do so we simply locate our weather data m which we saved earlier and copy the file path here add a backslash and then simply add the name of the CSV file, which is weather data m.csv. Check that, yeah. And now let's display the data onto the notebook. So if we run this code, it should work, yep. So here we have all of our data. Previously in simple linear regression, we were just dealing with temperature and humidity, but now we have the two new variables, wind speed and pressure, which we want to include into our model. So just as with simple linear regression, we need to ensure that each of our variables form a linear relationship with humidity since we're dealing with multiple linear regression. So what we're going to do is plot humidity against temperature, humidity against wind speed and humidity against pressure to confirm that there is a linear relationship between each of these variables. So to do so, we first need to set our X and Y values or our inputs and outputs. And this will also be useful when it comes to implementing our model. The conventional way to do this is to set a variable so we'll call this weather features. All of our x variables, that is x1, x2, and x3, will all be under our weather features. The features of our model are essentially all of our x inputs, which we want to, which we are going to be using to predict our y value, which is humidity. We're simply going to copy all of the column names. Now we're going to set our input or big X variable as weather data m, which is weather features. So what we've essentially done here is we've set the matrix X as all of our inputs. So if we print X, or if we show X onto our notebook, we see here we get all of our inputs, and these are already arranged in a 2D array for us, ready for input in our model. So now we need to set Y, which is humidity. And a quick way to do that is simply with the following code. Do weather data M, and then dot humidity, which is the name of our column here. Display that quickly to make sure that it's working. Nice. And now we're going to plot our y value or humidity against each of our x inputs. And we can do that with the following code. I haven't written it out just to save some time for you guys. You guys can implement this yourself. By the way, in the description, there's going to be a link to my Kaggle page where all this code will be available for you guys. So essentially what's happening here is we're setting a subplot as two by two by one. Essentially the first two numbers here, two by two, means we're essentially creating a two by two grid where we're gonna have different scatter plots inside. And one indicates the index of our scatter plot. So one will, will represent the top left square, two the top right, and three the bottom left. And here we're putting scatter plots of humidity against temperature, humidity against wind speed, and humidity against pressure. If we run this code, here we go. We have our three plots. First thing to notice straight away is when we plotted humidity against pressure, it does not follow a linear relationship, so we cannot include it in our model. Both humidity against temperature and humidity against wind speed both have this negative gradient and have somewhat of a linear relationship, so it would be appropriate to include it in our model. So to remove, so to remove pressure from our input variables or features, we do x equals x dot drop, and we do the name of the column. In this case, we're dropping pressure, and then we do comma one. So this one here represents the axes number. So one represents columns and zero rows. Because we're dropping a column, we do one. Lastly, let's display our new X onto our notebook. 
So if we run this code, we can see now that pressure has been removed. Let's now make a three-dimensional plot of humidity against temperature and wind speed, just to visualize how humidity changes according to temperature and wind speed. If we were to have more variables, this wouldn't be possible. We'd have to plot in four dimensions and above, which is very difficult to visualize. So to make the three-dimensional plot, we first import the function axis 3D from MPL toolkits. So you guys can simply add this to your Jupyter notebook. Next, we're gonna define our figure, which is basically the canvas that we're gonna be working on. So we do figure equals PLT figure. We're then gonna add an axis to our figure by doing ax equals fig dot add subplot subplot 111 projection equals 3D. We're essentially adding a subplot on our figure. The 111 represents that we're creating a one by one grid and one represents the index. We're essentially just creating one big graph. So now we need to add our data. We already have Y defined as our humidity, but we want to now have separate variables defined as temperature and wind speed. To do so, we can just do X1 equals X and then temperature and X2 as X wind speed. But they're going to add a scatter plot to our axes by doing axe.scatter and x1, x2, y, which is essentially our x, y, z. And we're going to set the color to be red. And we're going to set the marker to be O. The marker is essentially the design of our data points. So if we run this code, hopefully, yep. So here's our 3D plot. We're now going to just add some axes labels. If we run this, there we go. So here we can see in general as temperature decreases and wind speed decreases, humidity increases. And we can sort of draw a, a sheet of paper like this that could perhaps capture this relationship. So let's now actually implement our multiple linear regression model. We can do that with three lines of code. We first import our function linear regression from the scikit library from sklearn.linearmodel import linear regression. We're then going to define our multiple linear regression model as linear regression. What we're going to do is multiple linear regression model equals linear regression, just as we did with simple linear regression. Now we're just going to fit our data to the linear regression model. And we do that by simply doing MLR underscore model dot fit x comma y. So our set of inputs and output. So running this code essentially calculates our multiple linear regression line which has the form here as y hat equals theta zero plus theta one x one plus theta two x two. If we were to have more variables, that would go on. So running this code essentially calculates our parameters theta zero, theta one, and theta two. So in order to get theta zero, theta one, and theta two from our multiple linear regression model, you can use the following code. We do theta zero equals MLR model dot intercept and theta one theta 2 are both our coefficients so we do theta 1 theta 2 equals mlm underscore model dot coefficient and lastly let's display theta 0 theta 1 and theta 2 on our notebook so there we go so these are all of our parameters in our model giving our final multiple linear regression model of y hat equals 1.14 minus 0.031 x1 minus 0.004 x2 so let's now use our multiple linear regression model to make some predictions so let's define our predicted value as y underscore predict. And then we do MLR underscore model dot predict. And we're going to put it in two square brackets, basically converting our inputs into a 2D array suitable for input. So let's say we had a temperature reading of 15 degrees and a wind speed reading of 21 kilometers per hour. Let's see what sort of humidity we can expect from that. So we do 15 comma 21. And lastly, let's display a variable. So that's our predicted humidity value for a temperature of 15 and wind speed of 21 kilometers per hour. If we look at our 3D graph here, we can sort of see that if temperature was about 15 and wind speed was 21, if we go up a little bit, we can sort of expect the point to be around here, which does correspond to around 0.5. If you guys run into any bugs or problems when creating this code, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to help you guys. But I hope this tutorial gave you guys a nice overview of how to implement multiple linear regression in Python. But then...